we have um with this video we have about four different type of factorization to um complete we have factorization by distributive law we have factorization by grouping factorization by difference of two squares and factorization of quadratic trinomial expressions and equations so with the first one factorization by distributive law all of these questions here are possible questions so as the name suggests factorization by distributive law first i'll go over distributive law so let's say for example we had a bracket b plus c and we're going to apply distributive law to expand this bracket we would multiply a times b then a times c a times b would be a b plus a times c would be a c now factorizing this by distributive law would give you the give, give you the um question that we just um solved a while ago so if we should factorize this i'd rewrite this a b as a times b plus a c is a times c then I'll, I'd look on both sides of this plus sign to see what is common. So if you realize over A on this side and A on this side, so I would factor out or factorize out, pull out, pull out this A. So I would have A, open bracket, what's left on either side or both sides will have B plus C. So this would be our answer from factorizing this question up here. So we would use the same procedure to factorize these questions so question one we have 5a squared b plus a b squared so the first thing we'll do we we'll expand all of these <coughs> so 5 times a squared can be rewritten as a times a times b plus a times b times b because b times b would give us b squared then we would scan both sides or look at both sides to see what is common we have an a common on both sides any more a there's an a here but no more a on this side so we'll move on to the next term which is a b b we have a b on this side but no more b on this side so as you can see we factor out what is common a circle what is common so a b a b is what we pulled out so a times b a b what's left what we didn't circle is 5 times a and 5 times a is 5 a plus on this side we only have a b b so this would be our answer so i'm going to go to another question number two this was question one number two we have x squared minus 5x so we'll do the same procedure. We could even look at the question you know, to see what is common. You know. is, x is common on both sides. Or we could expand them out. So we have x times x minus 5 times x. Then we we'll look at both sides to see what is common. x is common on both sides. So we we'll circle x. So <clears throat> if you look again, we don't have any more x common on both sides. We only have an x on this side and a 5 on this side. So we we'll write down x open a bracket and write down what remains which is x minus 5 this would be the answer for this question now um let's look at question 3 Let's see if question 3 can hold here so we have x squared minus xy so i said x one the mode by multiplication so x squared is x times x minus x times y x is common on both sides we pull out x, open bracket, what's left, x minus y. So, th that is how we would factorize questions based on distributive law. So, let's solve question 4. So, we have question 4 here. Question 4 states that we have what? 6a squared b cube plus 12 a to the fourth b so six so we can write six as a product we have one times six or we can write two times six now six is two two times three sorry six is two times three uh, 
times a squared is a times a b cubed is b times b times b and on this side we have plus 12 we can write 12 so i'm gonna okay, make this plus sign a bit bigger um so we have 12 which is 2 times 2 times 3 times i'm just gonna put the rest here a to the fourth is a times a times a times a times b so we don't really have much space so what we can do we can scan both sides of this plus sign to see what is common when we look on both sides we have a two when we look again we have a three then we have an a and an a and a and another a a's are finished so we look at the b's now we have a b here and we have a b on this side so let's see what is common if you realize we have two times three two times three six six is common on both sides a times a is a squared with a b so what's common on both sides it's six a squared b we'll open a bracket write down what's left we have b squared what is left is what we did in circle b times b is b squared plus on this side we have what two and two a so we have two times a times a which would be two a squared two a squared so this would be our answer for this question we'll continue on another video with factorization by distributive law so on this video in this video we'll continue with um factorization by distributive law so we'll be looking at question five question five we have a squared b plus 2 a b so as we did in um, as we did in previous video we will expand these by use of multiplication so a squared is a times a times b plus 2 times a times b now when we look on both sides circle what is common on both sides it is a a and also a also a b so what's common a b open bracket what's left we have a plus two that's the answer for this one now question six question six i remember these are factorization by distributive law now question six we have x y cube plus two x y now with the xy cube plus 2xy same procedure would multiply x times y times y times y because y cube is y times itself three times plus 2 times x times y 2 times x times y is 2xy look on both sides to see what is common we have x and we have y so what's common on both sides xy open a bracket what's left y times y is y squared plus two this is our answer as as and as you can see whenever we factorize we don't have anything in the brackets which are common on both sides so after we factorize we shouldn't have anything common on both sides inside of this bracket so we'll be looking at question seven next Question 7. We're we'll looking at question 7. So, on question 7, question 7 says that we have what? We have 2x two, two cubed y plus 6x squared y squared. So, we'll expand these, which is 2 times x times x times x times y plus. 6 we could rewrite 6 as 2 times 3 times x times x times y times y now we look on both sides to see what is common we have a 2 we have x and what else we have another x and we have a y now let's see what is common we have 2 
x, x, and y. So 2 x times x is x squared, y, which is common on both sides. Open a bracket, what's left? We have x left on this side of this plus, as of the plus sign, plus. On this side, we have 3y. 3y. That would be our answer. <coughs> now, question. We did question 7 just now. I'm going to leave question 8 for another video. Let's look at question 9. Now back to back to question 9. We have 5px minus 5qy. We're going to expand these. So we have 5 times p times x minus 5 times q times y. Look on both sides, realize only the 5 is common on both sides. So it's 5. Open bracket towards left, p times x, which is px minus q times y which is qy so that's the answer for question nine question ten for question ten we have 16 y cube minus 32 y squared so with this one i'm just going to do a shortcut on this one now 16 and 32 16 and 32 2 times 16 gives us 32 so we realize that 16 is common now, with this side, so 16 is common. Now, with the y's, y square, it can go into y cube. One time, remainder y. So, y squared is common. y squared, open bracket, what's left on this side? y. Because y squared times y is y cubed with the 16 minus 32. 32, 16 times what gives us 32? 2. That would be our answer. 16 times 2 is 32 with the y squared. So that would be our answer for question 10. Now, question 8 has an application of difference of two squares. So that's why I kind of leave out this one until we do difference of two squares. Then we would factorize question 8. The next video will be on factorization by grouping.